Hey guys, it's Zach from 365 Motorworks. Just wanted to give you a quick how-to video on clocking your turbo. Really easy to do, uh, just a couple things you need to understand to do it correctly. But basically what you're trying to do is get the oil return, the part that feeds back into your block, facing directly towards the ground. And the reason you want to do that is that the oil return is just uh, gravity based. So there's no real uh, pressure or suction that's going to be pulling it back into the block. Um, on the center housing, you're going to have the oil feed. On this one, it's up on the top. And this one is pressurized and shoots the oil into the bearings. Um, on the bottom side of it, you have the oil return down here. So this part needs to be facing directly down. Depending on uh, how the turbo came and set up and all that, you may have to adjust that slightly. You also may have to adjust the, the turbo for um, the pipes to fit to clear. So basically what we're going to do is you just loosen a couple bolts, you spin some things in the right direction, and you're all set. So I went ahead and loosened these up already, but basically there's uh, going to be some bolts on this side here, and there's also going to be some bolts over here on this side. So just run around uh, the turbo housing itself and loosen up all the bolts. Um, you don't have to get them super loose, just uh, enough for everything to wiggle. After that, you can grab the center housing here and you can twist it. So you just twist it around till you get it to where it needs to be. Like I said, the feed doesn't really matter. It needs to uh, clear things on the top, but you can always use an angle connector or something like that. Uh, the returns what we're worried about so the return needs to be facing pretty much uh, straight down to get the oil out of the housing after it is you can go ahead and tighten up the bolts on this side and that'll lock the center in then you can finish off by when you put on the intercooler pipes and whatnot you can rotate this housing here so that it clears everything doesn't hit the exhaust doesn't hit the firewall or wherever it is on your car um, and then lock this section into place as well. And that's basically all it takes to clock your turbo.